Today on the channel from the Star Wars Power of the Jedi Collection, General Princess Leia Organa and IG-88. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for another Star Wars unboxing and review every day in 2021. Haven't missed a day yet, no plans to, as I'm in search of that Guinness Book of World Records. But remember, for all your Star Wars needs and everything else under the sun, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. But today we've got two of Power of Jedi's most famous, I don't know about that, but it sounds good. IG-88, one of the best bounty hunters in the, all of the galaxy, of course. And Princess Leia, General Princess Leia, I should say. So we're going to unbox both these. We're going to do it like we normally do it. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. And we'll see where it goes from there. We're going to go ladies first. So we're going to start off with Princess Leia right here. We know this packaging, part of Collection 1 in The Power of the Jedi, Star Wars. Got Obi-Wan and Darth Vader up there at the top. We got the Force File card. We're going to find out all of Leia's friends, all of her enemies, and a whole lot more. And then you got Princess Leia in the plastic prison there. So let's flip it around. Other side, of course, there's a little bit of a checklist there. We got UPCs. The Jedi Master Points are piling up. I got so many, it's unbelievable. And then uh, we'll read that card up to the side. So there it is right there. Well, let's unbox her. She comes with two weapons. Leia going all out. She's not messing around. Ooh, easy one off the card today. See you later. See you later. A little bit of a yellowing to the bubble, just a little bit. That's General Leia. You know, we, we remember this one. We remember her. Pull it out here. There it is. See you later. We got a very yellowed bubble on this one. See you later. There it goes. Let's see what it says about old Princess Leia. A princess on her homeworld of Alderaan, Leia Organa is a strong-willed woman of action. After Alderaan was destroyed by the first Death Star, she became a full-time member of the Rebel Alliance. Like one does, what else is she going to do? She is dedicated to putting an end of the Empire's reign of tyranny. Now let's see who her friends are here. Wicket better be at the top of her friend list, and he is not. Uh, allies and enemies, number one, Han Solo. You know Han Solo, we did a review of him, and she was in the number four spot, so very interesting web they weave. Luke Skywalker at number two. Oh, we got the Ewok natives at number three. So not quite Wicket, but number three, she loves the Ewoks. Number four, Chewbacca. You can't argue with that. You guys know we all love hairy bipedal creatures. We're all in. Her enemies, Imperial officers, Moff Jer Gerard. Imperial officer I've never heard of. Moff Jer Gerard. I do not recall him at all. Stormtrooper and then a biker scout. Everybody hates those biker scouts. I don't know. I don't know. But very cool. This is Princess Leia. Straight out of Return of the Jedi. We like that a lot. You guys know I love Return of the Jedi. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So we got Power of the Force style articulation. We got the legs. We got the arms. We got the head. We got the waist. And we got the crazy rubber bands that are going to break everywhere. And it's exactly what they do. Disgusting. I hate these rubber bands. Bane of my existence, these rubber bands. But got them out. And now the weapon probably won't stay in her hand without it. Of course it won't. The nice thing about these figures are, though, if the hands get, like, overextended, you can easily just mold them back. They're very pliable. So you can move some things around. Oh, this gun has got that sticky disease from that tape. It's so disgusting. I hate it. I hate it. But there it is. That's a big weapon for Leia. This is good General Leia. Uh, it's missing her little coat that goes over it, which I guess not included in this one. But you got two weapons. It is what it is. We've had so many Princess Leias. How many do you need? I'm sure I have another Princess Leia that depicts this exact same figure. Uh, so we'll see. Endor is going to get really exciting if I have a lot of the same Leias just hanging around. But is what it is. A decent color on this one. Will she stand? She actually stands. I didn't think this one would stand. It has kind of a weird stance to it. Much like the Power of the Force Han Solo from the original card. That thing is very hard to get to stand. I thought this would be in the same uh, motif, but it was not. It standed perfectly right there. So there you go. General Princess Leia. Now we turn our attention to a bounty hunter. You guys know I love a good bounty hunter. And IG-88. IG-88 is probably more popular than ever as IG-11 stole a lot of people's hearts in The Mandalorian Season 1 and brought more attention to IG-88. And I sometimes do get them confused now. So well, there you go. 
Uh, you got him in there. He's got a weapon, of course. We got his Jedi Force file. It'll be interesting to see who he likes and who he does not like. That'll be a really interesting one. Uh, Obi-Wan and Darth Vader at the top of the package. Part of Collection 2. Check out the back there. There it is. You got all the uh, little checklists to the side. You got UPCs. More Jedi Master points. What am I going to do with all these points? I've got to be the, the billionaire. Uh, two billionaire in the Jedi Master points at this point. Will it fall off the card easy or will it fight me? Let's see. Oh, it doesn't get easier than that. See you later. Off to the side. Here it is. See you later. Whoa, like a Frisbee. Let's see what it says about our buddy IG-88 here. The most infamous and feared of all assassin droids. There you go. IG-88 has made a career as a ruthless bounty hunter. The tall, slender, gray droid was produced at Halawan Laboratories. IG-88 is equipped with an array of head sensors that allow him to see in all directions at once and a variety of lethal weapons, including grenade launchers, missiles, and flamethrowers. 1.96 meters tall. 0.96 meters taller than your average Jawa. So there you go. Let's see what we got for friends and foes and all that kind of stuff. Any guesses? Allies and enemies. So his number one ally is a guy I don't even know. IG-72. So a, a comrade of his. Forlom coming in next. Probe droid number three. What do you think IG-88 and the probe droid talk about? They just sit there in the dock. Hey, how's the weather? Oh, what do you think? What have you been probing anybody lately? Uh, R2-Q2 is the other uh, ally. So really interesting there. He's got four robot friends. I guess droids stick together. I think that's the moral of that story. Then we get to his enemies. And his number one enemies might be a surprise. A fellow bounty hunter in Boba Fett. Then Chewbacca. Then Han Solo. Then Princess Leia. Interesting times. That's for sure. What's it say here? Anything good? Talks about an assignment he had where he was supposed to capture Han Solo. I don't know. Nothing too, nothing too exciting here at all, really. You can track any target virtually. Well, good for him. Good for him. There you go. That's a little blurb on IG-88. See you later. I think IG-88's first Power of the Force style figure was in the Shadows of the Empire 2-pack with Boba Fett, if I remember correctly. I remember being really jazzed for that figure, even though it's not the greatest figure. See you later. And this figure is not much different. A little bit better color to it, I think. Uh, but there's still not a lot going on here. We got Power of the Force style articulation with the legs moving. The head moves. Waist, yeah, waist right at the chest, and then the arms kind of move, but they are they don't move a lot. Uh, he does have this big blaster rifle. It looks really cool. It's like a little silver to it. I always hated the fork hands that he has going on here. I've just never been a fan of those. They don't hold weapons very well. As I say that, he holds the weapon just fine, so I'm a liar. He does have his bandolier over him where he holds his stuff. Uh, just interesting character, that's for sure, IG-88. And like I said, IG-11 was in the Mandalorian. He stole our hearts protecting uh, old Grogu, Baby Yoda. And uh, I think we all came around to these IG droids a little bit more. I think they're at their all-time fandom, I guess we would say right now. Uh, between the two, I'm taking IG-88 all day long. I've had enough Princess Leia's. No offense, but I needed a bounty hunter droid uh, on some of my displays. I can't wait to reenact that bounty hunter lineup from Empire Strikes Back. I'll have to do that with the three and three force figures, and why not? I'll do it with the six inch black series figures as well. So there you go. There you have it, IG-88, Princess Leia Organa. Make sure you guys leave me a comment with your thoughts if you picked these up in the past or what you think about these Power of the Jedi figures. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hit the old notification bell. Like this video. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64. Instagram, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson and ProWrestlingTees.com. Search Kyle Peterson. I'm asking a lot of you guys. I know. I know I am. But there you go. For the Power of the Jedi, Leia and IG-88, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.